I look at like teammates who talk to these ginormous NFL stars and hearing about their stories when they talk about, man, I started diving into mental health and your guys' clothing brand has opened up my mind. No matter how big you are and what people think about you, you everybody's dealing with something. I'm Seattle just mean we can have these conversations when people ask how did you get this hoodie or what do these hearts mean? It just starts a conversation. The brand has an amazing message, but you can only spread the message if you put it on clothes that people want to wear. And so if we can deliver everyone's favorite product, then you have something special. That's our goal, is to change the world. It's not get clothes on people's bodies, it's to change the world with the clothes. First time I seen RP race, um, he was giving my middle school seventh grade basketball team like 30, going crazy. And I was like, man, I gotta meet this kid. And then come to find out, uh, we go to O'Day, Catholic school, all guys school, big on brotherhood. And that was just like my little brother from day one. There's certain people I think that are meant to be there. And for me, Miles is definitely one of them. I started dealing with a sadness, not as interested or motivated. I didn't want to do my schoolwork. And then it got to the point where sports weren't even fun. Usually that's my escape. And the tricky part for me was I felt like I, did, I wasn't able to talk to anyone about it. I was still doing well in school. I was excelling in sports. My family, my friends didn't see anything at all wrong with me. I was like trying to tell him like, hey bro, just be happy. Just be happy. And he got it to me like, hey, it's not easy just to be happy. Like, it's not just like, just the thing you just choose to do. All it was was a conversation that led to another, that led to another, that led to, hey man, I'm struggling with mental health. That, like, oh really, like, what? tell me more about it. Like, tell me what you're feeling, because I, I don't know much about it. Went to the doctors, I got diagnosed with depression. And I'll never forget the day that I had to take the paper in and show all my teachers and basically be like, you know, I might as well wear it on a little tag, depressed. This is when I came up with Homs. It was a conversation I had with my dad, and I was depressed again. Football wasn't going well. I hadn't figured out my major yet. Just kind of normal, normal college stuff, right? But since I wasn't talking to people about it, it didn't seem like normal. You know, why am I dealing with this? Why can't I feel better about myself? And I remember it, it, I was in tears across from him, and I, like, I felt like I was supposed to be growing into this man. You know, I'm 18 now, 19, I gotta be this man, I gotta represent this, and I'm sobbing in front of him. You know, I'm letting him down. After like a true year of like learning and understanding and watching how he was living, watching how he was moving, how he was feeling, and being a, like very cognizant of it because this is with my best friend, um, I saw like, hey, this is different, and it changed my thinking. It changed how I looked at mental health, and it made me kind of reflect on who on who I was. I always came to him as, hey, whatever you need to say, if you need help, if you need to talk about anything. Like, I am here, I'm the next door to your right. Whatever, bro, like, I got you. I think the best thing Miles did for me was he didn't try to be that guru. And I just felt like, you know, everyone looked at me as this person they needed to fix. And what Miles did was he just treated me like a friend. You can find therapy in a best friend, in a, you know, a parent, uh, an uncle, someone that understands you. And that's what Miles did so well for me when I was going through those tough times is he's just, he's my friend. And he felt like I had someone who cared about me. The advice I always give is to just appreciate everything that's around you. Find a little thing. Because after a while, I think you'll re like, you'll find that love that you need to have for yourself. Peel those layers back until all that's left is you. And when all that's left is you, that's when you'll understand what drives you, what motivates you, what gets you out of those places when you get there. For me, it's clothes. That's what it comes down to for me is trying to advance in the fashion sense, making a product that transcends what people normally think of clothing. And it becomes more of like a part of the person. And when you need to go do those things, be selfish with it. Go tap into your true self. Do it unapologetically because that's how you're gonna figure yourself out and that's how you're gonna be happiest.